welcome to my growth club this is nikhil and it's sunday like every sunday we are going to have a weekly marketing update and in this weekly marketing update we have something super special we are going to talk about android 12 and advertising id policy changes by google now uh, this can be a huge update for marketers uh, depending on how google decides to implement it just to give you a little throwback do you remember what happened when this message starting popping up on ios devices this was with ios 14 when apple stopped sharing device ids with advertisers if user decides not to share his or her device ids the problem was apple made the message of device id sharing so scary that a lot of people actually opted out of device id sharing and we'll look at that data by the end of this presentation as well if google decides to do the same it can have larger impact on ad app advertising ecosystem so let's look what is in store for us with gaid policy changes on android 14 to start with and for all versions soon enough this is one of my favorite cartoons again from my favorite cartoonist marketonist.com and uh, you should visit this site sometime it's quite a stress buster as a user it's your choice to have privacy or personalized content you can't have both when you choose to opt out of all the personalization you will be served with content and advertising which may or may not be relevant to you most probably may not be and if you choose to share your advertising ids that means you'll be sharing your device ids and trading it for better content more personalized advertising and something which is of interest to you and this is a choice that users have and we'll also look at what users have chosen so far so here we go let's let's talk about what is this about now first part is what is advertising id advertising id is an id of a specific mobile device which is almost persistent it's not as persistent as probably android id or some other persistent uh, ids this is almost persistent user if user wants he or she can reset it but it's quite complicated process and no one actually does that so it's almost persistent now where is it used it's used for attribution when I say attribution, basically this is used for advertising attribution to mobile installs or mobile in-app events for that matter. Second, it's used for analytics, uh, understanding the user path, understanding the user journey. For that, uh, in many places, advertising ID is the primary identifier of the user. And third, it's used for personalization. When I say personalization, a lot of ad networks use advertising id to personalize ads according to your behavior your interest your gender etc so that's how google advertising id or idfa for ios is used now let's look at brief history of mobile identifiers before we dive into deep end of the changes now let's start uh, before 2012 before 2012 between 2007 8 to 2012 there was no concept of advertising id but there was an id of android and ios installation on your device which was a persistent id which couldn't be changed during those times was for android it was called android id and for ios it was uuid advertise used advertisers used this android id and uuid during those years because there was nothing else which could have been used for advertising or personalization or analytics purposes this was used uh, before 2012 and i was one of those advertisers who used android id uh, to a great deal in 2012 apple came up with idfa idfa was meant to be used for attribution analytics and personalization purposes this was the first time concept of advertising id on mobile device came up and a year later, Google also came up with GAID, which is Google Advertising ID. Also, in 2013, same year, Apple also came up with something called IDFV. IDFV was useful for people who have more than one apps on 
App Store. This was a unique identifier which could tie one user across multiple apps if you own multiple apps on App Store. Everything was working nice until 2020 when Apple dropped a bomb of iOS 14 and this really impacted a lot of advertisers. I personally saw my campaign performance going down drastically after iOS 14 changes came about. I also talked with multiple other marketers who also had a similar experience after iOS 14 release. We'll also take a look at why that is the case. In 2021, in late 2021, Google released Android 12. Android 12 also has a similar change to what iOS 14 did, although probably not to the same extremes. And why I'm saying probably is because no one is still sure about the changes that are going to happen. Uh, I'm just assuming that it won't be as drastic as iOS 14 right now. In April 2022, this change which has been implemented on Android 12 only, where if user doesn't want to share his advertising ID, it will not be shared with you, will be applied on all Android versions. So clock is ticking. In just another about two months, this change will hit all Android versions. And it's a huge change for at least India and Southeast Asia where Android is a dominant operating system. Okay, now let's look at what are the changes and how it's going to affect you. Now before LAT, so LAT, uh, LAT is basically short form for uh, limited ad tracking. So before this change, uh, GAID on Android was available. Even if user decided not to share his or her GAID with you, it was available and after April, it will not be available to you. Now, why was this available? If user has told not to specifically share his advertising ID with you, why was Android sharing it with you? Because of a simple reason that before these changes, Android did share the advertising ID with advertiser, but only for analytics and attribution purposes. Advertiser wasn't allowed to use that ID for advertising purposes if user has chosen not to do so. That changes now. Now the warning doesn't anymore ask user if this can be shared for ad personalization. Now it asks, do you want to share ID or do you want, do you not want to share this ID? So now you, you as advertiser will not get this ID if user decides not to give you for analytics, advertisement or personalization purposes. What's the probable impact? Uh, when iOS 14 came out, roughly 25% users globally opted out of being tracked by IDFA. Uh, this is Apps Flyer data and uh, I'll also put a link to that report in the comments down below. Also, uh, on iOS 14, please take a look at my video about iOS 14 if you want to mo know more about it. I'm putting the link right here. In case of Android 12, only 2.2% users have chosen to opt out of advertising ID sharing in 2021. Sorry about that. It's a typo 2020 in 2021. But it's too early to take a call. It all depends on how scary Google makes this message. If Google makes the advertising ID sharing message as scary as iOS did, you never know, you might even have more than 25% who may not want to share their device IDs. And also 2.2% is calculated only for Android 12 right now, which has very, very minimal market population right now. But when it's rolled out to all Android version, who knows, it can be 2% or it can be lower or it can be as high as 25% like iOS. One good change also that has come about with this is App Set ID. 
AppSet ID is very similar to IDFV which we discussed in the past. IDFV is an ID which was used by developers who have multiple apps on Play Store. Similarly, Google has come up with this ID called AppSet ID. Now, AppSet ID will help you to track your users across your apps if you have multiple apps on Play Store as well. So this is a good thing that has come up in these changes as well. Of course, it all depends on adoption of advertising ID opt-out uh, and user behavior on that. If you have any questions about impact of GAID policy changes, please do comment and I'll try to respond ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you next week again with new marketing update on My Growth Club.